The sky is so big and full of amazing events. Where do you get time to watch all the astronomical event? So don't worry, we've selected 17 of the most interesting, spectacular and rare celestial shows, especially for you guys. Watch the video in detail about the must-see astronomical events in 2025. January 3, 4, Quadrantids Meteor Shower. The Quadrantids is an above-average shower, with up to 40 meteors per hour at its peak. The shower runs annually from December 12 to January 12. It peaks this year on the night of the third and morning of the fourth. The crescent moon will set early in the evening, leaving dark skies for what should be an excellent show. Best viewing will be from a dark location after midnight. Meteors will radiate from the constellation booths, but can appear anywhere in the sky. January 10, Venus at Greatest Eastern Elongation. The planet Venus reaches greatest eastern elongation of 47.2 degrees from the Sun. This is the best time to view Venus since it will be at its highest point above the horizon in the evening sky. Look for the bright planet in the western sky after sunset. January 13, Comet C2024 Gear 3, Atlas, reaches its brightest if we're lucky. Comet C2024 G3 might become visible to the naked eye even in the daytime by January 2025. However, it also might not survive perihelion and, even if it does, will be positioned quite close to the sun in the sky. Look west immediately after sunset to see the comet. January 16. Mars at opposition. The red planet will be at its closest approach to Earth and its face will be fully illuminated by the sun. It will be brighter than any other time of the year and will be visible all night long. This is the best time to view and photograph Mars. A medium-sized telescope will allow you to see some of the dark details on the planet's orange surface. Close approach of Venus and Saturn on January 19. On January 19, two bright planets will meet in the evening sky. At Venus and Saturn will pass within two degrees 12 minutes of each other in the constellation Aquarius. Both planets will be visible to the naked eye for a few hours after sunset. Plus, they'll join a planetary alignment around January 21, which will also include Mars, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune. January 21, six planets in the planetary alignment, six planets, Mars, Jupiter, Uranus, Neptune, Venus, and Saturn will align in the evening sky from southeast to west. Four of these planets, Mars, Jupiter, Venus, and Saturn, will be visible to the naked eye. You'll need a telescope or high-powered binoculars to see Neptune and Uranus. Blood Moon on March 14. On March 14, a total lunar eclipse will occur. During this event, the Earth blocks the Sun's direct light from reaching the Moon. However, some sunlight is refracted by the Earth's atmosphere, which filters out blue light, so that only red light reaches the Moon. This gives the Moon a deep red hue, known as the Blood Moon Effect. The total lunar eclipse will be visible over North and South America. Some other regions will see a partial eclipse. Dual visibility of Venus on March 18 and 21, Venus is called the evening star and the morning star, depending on when it appears, but this March, something rare will happen. Around its inferior conjunction with the Sun on March 23, Venus will be visible in both the morning and evening skies for a few days in the northern hemisphere. This happens because this inferior conjunction of Venus coincides with the moment when its ecliptic latitude is very high, up to 8.4 degrees north. In addition, in late March in the Northern Hemisphere, the ecliptic makes a steep angle with the horizon in the evening and sits low down in the morning. In other words, the sun sets quickly in the evening and rises slowly in the morning. Because of this arrangement, Venus is still visible in the evening sky just before the inferior conjunction and begins to be visible in the morning sky as well a few days before the conjunction. This is a rare event, next time it will occur only in 2033. Partial solar eclipse on March 29, 
on March 29, a partial solar eclipse will occur. It will be visible for parts of the northeastern United States, eastern Canada, Greenland, Europe, northwest Africa, and northwestern Russia. At its peak, the eclipse will reach a magnitude of 0.9376, meaning the moon will nearly cover the sun, though a thin solar crescent will still be visible. Remember to use solar filters with telescopes or binoculars and always wear eclipse glasses for direct viewing to protect your eyes from serious harm. Eta Aquariid Meteor Shower Peak on May 5, 6 The Eta Aquariid Meteor Shower is best seen in the Southern Hemisphere, though it can also be observed up to around 40 dyne latitude. In 2025, it will peak on May 5 and 6, during the peak, you might see up to 50 meteors per hour. The meteor shower's radiant rises in the pre-dawn hours and reaches its highest point around 8 a.m. local time. Known for producing long-lasting meteor trails, the Eta Aquariids promise a stunning display for early risers. Close approach of Venus and Jupiter on August 12. On August 12, Venus and Jupiter will be just 0 degrees 52 minutes apart you can cover them both with your outstretched little finger. See them on the eastern horizon before sunrise, visible to the naked eye. Blood Moon on September 7, the second total lunar eclipse of 2025 will take place on September 7. The total eclipse will be visible from Australia, Asia, Africa and Europe. Some other regions will see a partial eclipse. This will be the longest total lunar eclipse since 2022 lasting a whopping 1 hour and 22 minutes. Saturn at its best on September 21. On September 21, Saturn will reach its best visibility of the year. This event is called opposition, as the planet is located right opposite the sun in the sky. Saturn will stay in the sky throughout the night. Taurid swarm on November 3. Two branches of the Taurid meteor shower the southern and northern Taurids, reach their peak in early November. The southern Taurids peak on November 5 with up to 7 meteors per hour, while the northern Taurids peak on November 12 with up to 5 meteors per hour. While these meteorites may seem low, 2025 is a special Taurid swarm year, which means you could catch more bright meteors and fireballs. Keep your eyes on the sky for about a week around November 3 to get the best of the show. The full moon on November 5 could make observations trickier, so try to find a spot where the moon is blocked by buildings, trees or other objects. This will help you avoid the bright moonlight and spot more meteors. The biggest full moon of the year on November 5, the full moon on November 5 will be the biggest supermoon of the year. It will appear 7.9% larger and 16% brighter than an average full moon. Close approach of Venus and Mercury on November 25. On November 25, Venus and Mercury will come within 0 degree 59 minutes of each other. The pair will be visible on the eastern horizon for about an hour before sunrise. Geminid meteor showers peak on December 14, the most prolific meteor shower of 2025 is coming at the end of the year. The Geminids will peak on December 14, producing up to 150 meteors per hour. The waning crescent moon won't hinder the view. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, share and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more astronomy videos.